Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about lawn spreaders. You know, there are so many different kinds and uh, you know what you see mostly are broadcast spreaders and drop spreaders. Those are the two main choices you have and then there's brands within those and differences between them. So the first thing is, is uh, I want to talk about the difference between a broadcast spreader and a drop spreader. So the broadcast spreader will have this uh, dial that spins that will broadcast either the, uh, the fertilizer or the seed or whatever it is that you're putting down on your lawn out across a range that's much wider than the actual spreader itself. And uh, a, a drop spreader does just that. It will drop the uh, ingredients straight down and only straight down. Now, I've owned a drop spreader before and um, I didn't like it because what I found was that if I didn't stay on exactly on track and I got off track a little bit, then I would have either a little bit of a gap, an area where I did not drop the material that I wanted to drop, or maybe I overlapped and now I've got an area that's got too much. You can overseed a little bit or over fertilize using a broadcast spreader, but you're going to be less likely to have such a, a varying degree of overlap or underlap as with a broadcast spreader as you would with a drop spreader. Okay, so then let's talk about broadcast spreaders. Well, there are so many different kinds and you can, I suppose, shop for them just based on price and you have some of those uh, large home improvement stores that do sell the drop spreaders that have a very well-known manufacturer's name brand on them but I've been through so many of them before and they do work to a, to a point uh, but there's a couple things that, that I don't like about some of those uh, broadcast spreaders. One, they have these uh, unforgiving plastic wheels so every time you go over a little bump it will jar the, the uh, spreader and in some instances uh, push out a little bit of an extra bit of material uh, or and and so that's not what you want you want it to be an even even broadcast okay the other issue that I found was they rusted pretty quickly they were not made of the same quality or gauge metal that uh, some of the uh, the other higher uh, cost or not just higher cost but higher uh, higher end spreaders are so I'm going to share with you a spreader that I've started to use recently that I, that I do really like. All right, so recently I was able to um, be fortunate enough to get my hands on this uh, uh, Jonathan Green uh, broadcast or rotary spreader. And again, what I really like about a spreader like this is we've got uh, tires that have air in them with a little bit more bounce. And they're also uh, a little bit wider, so you're not uh, leaving uh, you're, you're forgiving the grass or the compaction of the grass without putting so much weight on a very narrowly defined uh, wheel diameter. And uh, it's the heavier gauge uh, metal that th this thing is made from. Uh, it came partially assembled and so I was able to then uh, fully assemble it myself and really could tell the difference between the construction of this versus uh, the other one that I had been using. The other thing that I'll notice is that is that it's going to have a the dial the setting is based on uh, the amount of product you want to uh, disperse, not based on a certain manufacturer's dial setting that they have in their bag that only matches their spreader. So you could use this and put almost anything down, and does not have to be just a particular manufacturer's brand. They also provide this uh, grate here where sometimes you'll get the material that could uh, clump up and needs to be broken up. Well, it'll, it'll break up here first and then go down uh, before uh, getting, getting through to the rotary, rotary portion of the spreader. So uh, this video is part of a whole uh, lawn care series, a playlist that I'm hoping you will continue to watch. Uh, the, the subsequent follow-up video here and you're gonna you're gonna also watch me use this spreader that I just showed you in some of these videos and if you have any questions about it at all about my experience with this particular spreader 
uh, just let me know. I'm going to also leave a link in the description and also the first pinned comment on where you can find this one if you'd like. Um, hope you're having a great day and let me know if you have any questions about the spreader or your lawn care issues.